Are you using Google Docs to write a book? Maybe you're wondering how you should format your manuscript to send to a publisher or agent. If you're new to writing, maybe you don't know that there is a right and a wrong way to present your manuscript. This video will show you how to set up your book professionally in Google Docs. First up, I'll take you through what standard manuscript format is because it's really helpful to know the settings for manuscripts and short stories. Firstly, it should be in Times New Roman or Courier font. I personally prefer Times. Should be 12 point, double spaced, one inch margins. The first line of each paragraph should be hanging and indented with a left alignment, not full alignment. And your name, story title, and page number should be in the top right hand corner of each page. The number one tip I can give you here before I go into anything with Google Docs is to double check the manuscript requirements of your publisher before submitting. They'll likely have them on their website, what they prefer your document in. But most of the time, it's this standard manuscript format across the board. So let's hop on over to Google Docs. Okay, so we've made it over here into Google Docs. And the first thing you're gonna want to do is obviously go to docs.google.com and set up a new document. So you just wanna hit this blank button and a blank document is fine because we're gonna change all the settings. First thing you want to do is name your document. So I like to keep a pretty strict naming convention for manuscripts because otherwise it gets confusing when you send them to publishers. So I'm gonna call this draft one lady love day. And that just indicates to me that when I'm saving it, I know it's a draft, I know it's the first draft, and then I can save iterations of that. You don't wanna work all in the one document every time when you're editing. Okay, so I'm just gonna get my text and copy that in. Here's one I prepared earlier. And this is just from a short story I wrote a while back. And I'm gonna pop that in. Now, that does not look like a manuscript. <laughs> it just looks like a lot of aerial text. So the first thing I want to do is probably format the font. Now we want it to be in Times New Roman and we want it to be 12 point, right? So after you've changed that into Times New Roman, uh, you wanna go and fix that up into the correct paragraph styles, right? So you wanna go into format and you want to go to align and indent and you go to indentation options. So it's a bit of an advanced field and what you want is called a special indent and it's called first line and that will indent the first line of each paragraph which makes it easier to read. Apply. And then the other thing you want to do is you want line and paragraph spacing and you want it to be double spacing. Again, this makes it super easy to read. Now, this means if you're copying and pasting in, you may need to delete some of these paragraph breaks because you don't need those anymore. If you wanna do a scene break in a professional manuscript, you do a hash and then you actually center that, center align. Just to clarify and be clear, a manuscript should be left aligned, except for obviously these little things or your chapter headings. So you just need to make sure that this is left aligned so left align is this one over here. What we don't want, we don't want full alignment. And that is already beginning to look like a proper manuscript. One thing you can do right now is actually f set this as the default paragraph style. Click into your paragraph here and go format, paragraph styles, normal text, and go update normal text to match. And that means whenever you type in new words or copy and paste new paragraphs in, it will immediately take the same formatting as this. But we're still missing a few things from a normal manuscript. So you need a title page, you need headers, and you also need to put your chapter headings in. So let's do that title page first. You need to go and insert a page break. So you go to insert, break, page break, and you can also shortcut this with control or enter. So that is going to be your first page of the manuscript, but this is going to be your title page. And you can type in your title and your name. Title pages are center aligned, and they're also usually in all caps. So you want to just format that, text, capitalization, uppercase, 
and chuck in a couple of enters for good measure. You also want to remove the paragraph styles on this. So you want to actually align an indent, indentation options, none. Oh look, that's perfectly centered. So that's a great title page, but there's a few more pieces of information missing. So in your header, and the great thing about Google Docs is you can just click into the header, you just double click there. And we want to say different first page because this is a title page. So I'm going to put my address, email, phone number, and of course the word count. So you obviously do the word count when you get to the end of the manuscript. So we want to make sure that that's not double spaced anymore. So we'll just select all of that and we'll go format, line and paragraph spacing and single is fine for the cover page. And again, we can just format and do align and indent, indentation options, none. Okay. So that is a really nice looking cover page. Now you want to set this as your heading one and your heading one style is important and doing all your heading styles are really important because it might not seem like it now, but when you get to a 40 chapter book with three subheadings in each chapter, you're going to want to be able to manage it over on this side of the page and I'll show you exactly why that is in a second. This is going to be our heading one. So I'm going to click into that, go format, paragraph styles, heading one, update heading one to match. Okay. And look, the title comes up over here. So when we do our chapters, so we can scroll down, press enter, chapter one. Now chapters should be center aligned and I usually do them in an italic. Now what I'm going to do is set this as my heading two style. So paragraph styles, heading two, update heading two to match. Look at this, chapter one is appearing in the side menu. How exciting is that? It is great to be able to do this because when you get lots of chapters, you're gonna thank me for this later. Okay, so there's only one more thing left that you actually have to do to make this a professional manuscript. And that's to add your headers on the following pages. So all of the pages should have your name, the title of the book, and a page number. And this is so if you drop them all on the floor when you're editing, you will know where the pages go. So to add your page numbers, just click over here on options, go page numbers. And you don't want to show them on the first page and you want to start at number one or number zero actually. And then you go apply. Oh look, it's appearing as one. The only thing left to do is to right align that. So that's nice and well aligned up the top there and it looks gorgeous. So this is pretty much ready to go to send to agents or publishers. It looks really professional now. So the last thing you have to do once you finish formatting your manuscript is to export it in a standard format. So all you have to do is file, download and select the format you need it in. And usually docx is the right one. It's the Microsoft Word format. Uh, sometimes it might be helpful if you're publishing online to do an EPUB, but most of the time a Microsoft Word will do for professional purposes. So that's it. It's pretty easy to set up your manuscript in Google Docs. Now that you know how to format your manuscript correctly in Google Docs, you can be confident that your work will appear professional to editors, agents and publishers. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm Kat Clay, I'm a Melbourne writer. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you like writing videos, writing advice, nerd stuff, please hit subscribe. And thanks again for watching.